Hey guys, this is Rustin with Overlanding USA. Welcome to the Overland Network and another episode of In the Garage. Today on In the Garage, we're going to be talking about rooftop tents, particularly this roof nest model name Sparrow. We're going to go over a few of the features of this tent. We're also going to talk about some of uh, my experience with the tent, some of the pros, some of the cons, and why I think you should buy one. Okay, guys, so talking about this tent in particular, like I said, this is the Roof Nest. Uh, it's the model name is Sparrow. It's the, one of the more compact ones that they sell. They sell uh, one model that is larger than this. It's called the Eagle. Um, the only difference being that this Sparrow is about 48 inches wide. Uh, the Eagle is 56. Uh, Eagle weighs slightly more, obviously, um, but beyond that, they're very similar. Uh, I chose this tent simply because I've had other style tents in the past. I've had the traditional square flip over tent. Um, they're great tents, but they tend to be a little bit a little bit noisy when you're driving down the highway. They're also just giant bricks. They really hurt your fuel economy and they tend to make a lot of noise. Um, with this tent in particular, when it's, uh, when it's collapsed down, it's only about 10 inches tall uh, compared to an, an, a standard rooftop tent, which is somewhere between 12 and 14. Um, it also is a hard shell, so you don't have to deal with the bag. Um, and one of the, the main benefit with a hard shell rooftop tent is, uh, is you're going to be your pack up time and your, your deploy time. Um, so that's going to be, you know, one of your main benefits. Uh, some of the features that I like about this roof nest in particular, it, it comes uh, standard with, uh, basically it's, uh, it's insulation on the top and bottom of the tent. Um, this definitely helps when it's a little bit colder outside. One of the things that you notice, you, you lose a lot of heat through the base of your tent because as, as, it, as the wind gets up underneath it, it just sucks all the heat out from underneath the tent. Um, this insulation really does help with that. Uh, another reason that I, I really chose to use this rooftop or use this roof nest um, over over different brands is the price point. Uh, most of the, the the big downside with a lot of these rooftop tents uh, is definitely cost. Um, you know, most of them are running between three and four thousand uh, dollars. I found that the value with this tent was a little bit better. Um, this one comes in at right at about twenty four hundred. I caught them with a good uh, free shipping deal, so that's definitely the big thing. Anytime you're shipping something like this, it usually will run you between two and three hundred dollars, unless you can you can really catch a deal. So most of what happens in this roof nest is going to be up inside. So I'm going to go ahead. We'll take you guys up inside the tent. We'll talk about some of the features inside. That's where the bulk of of this uh, this tent really is. Um, we'll get up in there. We'll talk about that, and then we'll move on. Okay, guys. So we're actually up in the tent. Uh, I'll go ahead and apologize now if I'm just slightly out of focus. It's a little hard to see. Uh, or if it's a little bit distorted. I've got you guys hooked up to about a 14 millimeter lens to show you as much of this as possible. So, so just bear with me on this one. Um, the main thing I want to talk about, I want to talk about a few things in here. Um, this roof nest is, is exceptionally comfortable, um, but we'll, we'll start with function first. So in each corner, you are going to have four of these um, basically pivoting struts. Uh, each one of these is responsible for supporting one corner of the tent. They're in, they are supported basically by these gas struts. Uh, one of the big benefits with Roof Nest is that they do provide you with additional struts uh, straight out of the box. So just in case anything happens to one of these, um, it's fairly simple that you can just swap these things out. Um, we'll get into the more fun stuff now. So as you can tell, this is, uh, this is kind of the roof covering. This is the insulation that I was talking about. Uh, it's basically like a, almost like a quilt kind of pattern and uh, material. So it definitely holds uh, heat much better. Um, beyond that, they all come with these little uh, bungee cord, um, kind of like storage things, like I, I call it an attic. Um, so pretty much that that's great, this thing's great. You can put like, you know, clothes, um, light bags, things like that up inside there and it kind of gets them out of the way and it clears up a little bit extra floor space. Um, each, one, each one of these roof nests comes with two of these bags. These bags kind of have multiple purposes. They're good for storage, but they also have clips. So these clip on, clip out right here. And then you can actually clip these back in on the outside of the tent. Now, therefore, these are shoe bags. So the last thing that you really want to do is when you take your smelly shoes off, uh, stuff them in the tent. It makes the whole tent smell really bad. I've done that plenty, especially if it's been like raining or uh, you've been it's hot outside and you've been sweating. The last thing you want is your rooftop tent to smell like sweaty feet. Um, so I definitely, definitely enjoy those. Um, we use them quite frequently. I've actually got the other one down. It's tucked away right here because we use it so much. Um, another good feature with these is that they actually have integrated hangers. So you have two, you have one in each corner, one over here and one right behind my head. Um, so basically what they allow, what those allow you to do is uh, we use them to hang our bags. Uh, we just hang our bags from right here. Again, it clears it up off the floor, maximizes the floor space or the, basically the, the bed space that you do have. Um, beyond that, 
like I was saying, uh, you are dealing, it has a very comfortable mattress in it. So this is actually uh, about a three inch memory foam mattress. I find it, it's very, very comfortable. Um, I don't hear a lot of people complaining that the mattresses are uncomfortable. Um, so they make, they make great platforms to sleep on. Um, I mean, that's the whole point of buying a high quality rooftop tent is you wanna be able to sleep better than you would be if you were on the ground. So uh, mattress, very important. Um, beyond that, you have four windows. Uh, the two on the end, they basically have mosquito netting on them. Um, this is one thing that they have upgraded since I purchased this tent. Um, I'm not a big fan of the fact that mosquito netting does not fold down um, because I do like the ability to have free access uh, to maybe reach out of the truck or do, reach out of the tent to the truck. Um, they have corrected that. There is these do now zip out so that you can do you can do um, you know anything that you want. You can pass things through the windows, um, however you need, it needs to be. Sorry, we're like right off an active trail system here. I just kind of jumped out into the into some of the trail systems here around Las Vegas, so we'll have some stuff passing by. Um, another good feature that I really like. So quite literally the entire tent, all of the canvas will unzip. So if you ever have an issue where you get a big tear or something like that, no worries. Everything zips off very cleanly to make for easy replacement. You can contact Roof Nest about possibly, um, you know, having that to upgrade. Beyond that, that's about everything here on the inside. Um, I know you can see the light bar. Uh, no, it doesn't come with a light bar. That's an aftermarket thing that I did. I highly recommend it though. It's just a simple little LED light strip. Hook it up to a 12 volt power outlet in the truck. Okay, so for me, that's enough for the inside. I think we covered just about everything. Um, I do wanna take you guys back out. Uh, we'll do a demonstration on how to close the tent, how quickly it closes, and I'll open it back up to show you how quickly it opens because we didn't start with that. We started with it open. Um, and then we'll do some final thoughts and that'll be all for this video. Okay, so when closing up your roof nest, there is a fairly simple step, you, step uh, process you take. Uh, the first thing you do is you remove these little rods that support that, zip everything up, uh, and then make sure that the bungees on the inside of the tent that I pointed out earlier are actually attached uh, on both sides so they pull the canvas in. So I'm gonna take care of that right now. Be right back. Okay, now that that's taken care of, we'll move on to the next step, which is simply pulling down on each end of the roof nest. Oh, uh, before we do that, you wanna make sure you pick these up. Uh, go around all four corners, making sure that they are fully, uh, fully pulled up. Um, that way you're not running into a situation where you have fabric hanging out of the tent after it's closed. Now we start with the process of pulling the tent down. For me, because I've removed the straps, I simply step up into the door jam, grab the corner, pull straight down, making sure to tuck in the canvas fiber, the canvas fiber at the same time. Then comes the important part. You actually need to secure, I recommend, securing at least one of the little latches before you move on to the back to make sure that the front doesn't pop up when you pull the back down. The process for the back is the exact same as the front. I'll be right back. So after you've done that, you're most of the way home. All that you have to do is make sure that you want to stuff everything that you can up inside the tent uh, to make sure that you don't cause any damage to the canvas. Done with that side, we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Then we simply go ahead and connect the last remaining uh, little tie down points or connector grommets, whatever you want to call them. Push down on the front, make sure it's nice and tight. And one, two, three. Four, which is the last one and I will let you know I didn't speed that up that is real time we're ready to go 
all we have to do at this point is put the ladder. Uh, I keep it in the truck just because I prefer not to put the ladder. Sometimes the bottom of the ladder will get a little bit dirty. They do give you a bag to put the ladder in, but I just keep it in the truck in the back just to make sure that I don't get dirt on the uh, on my sleeping bag or inside the tent. So just like that, tent's closed and you're ready to roll. Um, the whole process probably actually, you know, minute, minute and a half. I uh, wouldn't say it's any longer than that. That's definitely my favorite part. Um, I, anybody that owns one of the regular flip over tents, one of the worst things in the world is trying to pack it away when it's really cold outside. So right now, I don't know if you can tell, I know I'm wearing shorts. It's probably only about 45 degrees. Um, I just got done with a run, so that's why I'm dressed like this. Uh, so I can, I can kind of testify that right now it's not very warm. My hands are pretty cold. So it's very nice to be able to just kind of pack it away really quick and be done with the whole thing. Okay guys, so we just got done showing you how to close up the roof nest. We're gonna go through this one time really quick. I'm gonna show you how to open it. I've already undone the grommets. So once you've done that, it's a very simple process. All you have to do is find the corner, push up on the front, let the gas struts take away, go to the back, do the exact same thing. Gas struts take away, just like that. You're done, you're ready to go, hook up the ladder and you can go to sleep. That entire process took me longer to walk around the truck to undo the, uh, undo the little straps than it did actually to set the tent up. Definitely my favorite feature about the tent. And it's something that, you know, I, st I just kind of sit back and just kind of marvel at every time I do it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave you with some quick closing thoughts. Um, I'm a big fan of this tent. It's definitely my favorite rooftop tent that I've owned so far. Um, would I say it's perfect? Probably not, but I would say that there's nothing in that's really perfect. Um, but it's, it's pretty damn close. So, you know, that, that's kind of my opinion on it. It's like I said, it's definitely the best rooftop tent that I've used. Um, I will highly recommend it. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below if you want to check them out. They did just come out with a brand new one. Um, right now the name, you know, kind of escapes me, but it's basically this exact model with load bars on top. So you can actually put stuff on top of the tent and it's got upgraded gas struts to allow you to do that. Um, overall, Roof Nest has been a great company to, uh, you know, to kind of interact with. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very proud to support their product. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. Find me on Instagram, uh, Overland USA on Instagram. Uh, you can go ahead and shoot me a direct message there. I'll free to answer any questions. I'll give you an honest opinion on the entire thing. So thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you thought this video was useful or helpful. Uh, this has been Rustin with Overlanding USA here on the, here on the Overland Network. We'll catch you in the next video.